Hey guys, doing a third part to my Dan Hollings The Plan review. So if you've not been following the series, this is one of the best courses that I've ever taken in terms of finding something for passive income that's sort of trading related. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description so you can go and check out this full review. I've also put the videos that I've been doing on this into this review so you can go and check it out. Um, if you're looking to make passive income with crypto pairs, so basically having a bot trade for you 24 hours a day and make significant passive income from it, uh, this could be something that you should look into. But you do need a, a fair bit of capital. So the cost of the course itself is like 3000 bucks or $3,500. Um, so you need that obviously up front, but then you need to be able to put enough capital into each bot that you make to make it worthwhile, assuming that you want to get a quick return on investment, which could be a little tricky. Think of this course as more of an investment into your education and how to set up uh, passive income streams. So uh, the minimum amount of capital per bot is about $3,000 and you probably want several bots going uh, simultaneously. So uh, that's something to bear in mind. Um, but if you are looking for something to make passive income um, from auto trading, this thing is something I'm really excited about. So yeah, go and check out this article to get all the details because today I really want to just talk about the most recent update that I have. Uh, which is setting up the standard bots. So the plan is basically in several different stages. So this is the dashboard of the plan. And I've been doing videos and updating it all the way up to session three. So I talked about uh, all the, the stuff up to this point in terms of um, setting up the, the more um, conservative bots. So I did that, and I'll show you the results of that a few days later. And I've just set up the yesterday I set up a standard bot, which is supposed to be a higher rate of return, slightly riskier, higher rate of return bot, which is doing awesome. So, yeah. So, I put together a quick little slide here. Uh, like I said, I just I learned how to set up the standard bot. The session two and three was awesome. The slides that accompany it were good, but the video lessons were even better. Basically because I get a lot of insight from Dan about the different um, philosophies behind these things and not just, you know, here's a bot, here's the settings, go sort of thing. He really goes into depth about all why things are and what he did to test this and everything. And that really is the, the value behind this course, um, is that it took him three years um, to find out what coin selections and settings and things by testing it with real money. So you can't just set up demo bots or whatever. He actually had to run real money through these things, and each run takes a long time and a lot of money. So that's kind of the value you're getting. You're not having to do all that. He's done it for you. And a lot of people wouldn't even be capable of doing that just due to time and, and capital restraints. Um, so the, the session on session three that talks about the standard bot, it's really great. It covers all the back testing stuff, which is really important. It goes into all the details about what pairs you should look for. That is the essence, right? What coin pairs, how you should set them up and what the back testing looks like for each one. He does a great job, delves into all those details, which is really, really great. Um, really enjoyed session three. Uh, he also introduces you to the coin research program, so where they find out like what coins are particularly wiggly or able to be scalped over and over again um, with the bots. So he talks about how it's important to also do your own research um, to find the coin pairs, to understand what's going on, um, but gives you some guidance along the way. So like I said, though, the minimum capital you're going to need per bot is $3,000. They don't work very well if you have less. Um, so here are some of the results that I've been seeing. So the bottom bot here, which has capital of 4700 in it, uh, has only made $12 in three days. That's the conservative bot. Um, and that's actually not bad, right? 0.24% is still 10 times what you'd get in a whole year, and that's in three days if you put this money into a savings account. The risk is that you're also invested in crypto, which can decrease or go up. So you're getting a really great return, 0.24% in three days. That's amazing. Like I said, it's, what, 10 times better than you would in a year in a savings account. So it's not that this bot's bad, it's just, it's just not as um, lucrative as the other bots. And you can see that the crypto can go down. The capital I have in there is already down nearly 5% at one point. So there's definitely risk reward here. Uh, if you're buying to hold these particular cryptos and you can choose which ones you want to do, there are guidelines uh, in the first couple of sessions on the plan though on what ones you might want to do, um, then you end up holding this crypto um, as well. So definitely the passive income is offset by the decrease at the moment, but that could easily change if this goes up. And as time goes on, this will go up as well. So even though this conservative bot is only making 0.24% every three days, that's still pretty pretty amazing to me. 
You can imagine if you had a large amount of capital here, this could really add up. Um, the second bot that I started, which was um, this standard bot in session three, 5,000 capital roughly, it's already made 20 bucks in 16 hours with $5,000 capital. So that doesn't sound like a lot, but this thing works 24 hours a day and it's not even been 24 hours yet. So if you do the math, you can get 500 to about $1,000 a month just from this $5,000 capital, um, which is awesome. Imagine you have 10 bots doing that, um, you know, 10 grand a month just um, in, in passive income. And that's not including whether the capital um, crypto that's underlying in the pairs, whether that goes up or down. And uh, the hope is that you'd be able to get the best of both worlds, right? Um, that some of your bots at least would have a positive number here as the the base underlying crypto goes up, as well as generating profit. And it looks like they always generate profit. I don't want to speak too soon, but it's two bots, and I think Dan points out these things will always make you profit. The problem is, in my opinion, is managing the underlying, and that completely goes away if you're fine holding whatever crypto is for, you know, for a year or two. Um, but it is also a little worrying that you're making these relatively small profits and then the underlying crypto could go up or down by a huge percentage. So definitely worth bearing in mind. But so far, I'm halfway through the plan by Dan Hollings and I'm super excited about it and I'm really enjoying it. I'm looking forward to keeping reporting more bots as I start them. And you guys can go and check out my full review of the plan uh, here. All right, guys, catch up with you soon. Cheers.